Hello, Randy Rain here, and the Armatron is what got me started in making videos, and this is one of my very first videos. Don't go watch it. It's terrible. That's why I wanted to redo it, so it's a robot arm, so this is Randy Robot Garage. So this was one of my first things that I opened up and saw all the gear work and stuff in there, and so didn't get very far with this one. I got it working, mostly. Had some issues up here, but it still mainly worked. But I want to make a new video and just go through the whole thing. So let's take this thing apart and see what's inside and get it all working perfectly. All right, so there's several screws on the bottom that has to be taken out. Some of them hold the bottom on. Some of them are actually holding some of the mechanics. Or at least one of them's holding the mechanics. The two joysticks move up and down and left and right, and then they also twist, and they move these things, pushing these levers each way, which turns on different gears. There are several gears around this main hub, and in the hub, there are several gears that it connects to. You can take these all off and put them in their spot. Each one of these gears lines up with another smaller gear inside. This bar here is your timer. And then when it goes all the way around, it gets to a spot that disconnects these two leads together, these two contacts, which stops the game. It's basically the same thing, just turning off the motor, which is what the main switch does. Several screws holding on this main back part here, which needs to come off first. Inside you have a motor that's connected to several gears. There's a worm drive gear inside here, which really slows the thing down. and gives it a lot of torque. And the whole thing it's doing is spinning this big drum and I've explained this a few times, but basically there's a gear with a planetary gear around it. And so as you turn the whole thing, the whole system will turn. But if you hold one of these pieces, now you're turning the gear inside, which turns the planetary gear, which you can connect to another main gear that's operating the machine. You can see if I spin it here, the whole thing spins. So if I hold one of these little sections, now when I spin it, it's spinning the gear inside, which spins the planetary gear. And all you have to do is move that planetary gear to another gear, and it will activate it. You can see it happening here when I activate the joystick mechanics. Several of these gears are cracked, but they're not completely gone, but I'm going to be replacing them. There's also some gears here that are not made out of nylon. Not sure what they're made out of, but it's a much harder plastic. This gear is a gear I replaced that I made a long time ago on my very first Armatron video. And this was back before I knew you could just buy these gears. So I believe this is just a tin tooth. Which I have plenty of those now. This worm gear is also cracking. And I don't have one that looks exactly like it, but this should be the same one essentially. And then the other gear on it is cracking too. And I have something that will work. You see here, this is the different resin gear. I'm not sure what it is. But this one, this crown gear is cracked as well. And I have one that will work. Now taking off this front panel, there's nothing really in here broken, but I'll show you how it's working. 
when you move these joysticks, it flips these levers that are holding these little drums on the main spinning drum there with the planetary gears. Go ahead and put that back because there's nothing broken in there. I've replaced all the broken gears, so I can go ahead and put this main section back. Put a little power to the motor, and you can see the gears turning and working now. You can see the main timer bar working as well. And that's as far as I've ever gotten on this thing. So that's why I want to do this video is I want to go all the way. Let's take this thing completely apart. So I'm not sure how you do it, but I'm going to start off taking this piece off. Taking these screws on the side out. Which really don't seem to be doing much at this point. Because there's more screws underneath. Once those are taken out, this whole unit will come out. There's a bar here with a spring. That's to make it easier for it to move upwards, lifting all the weight. You can see here, this is those different resin gears. I really like these gears. These, these don't seem to break. Wish the whole thing was like this. But to continue, you have to take these little black pieces off on the side. One of them has a spring on there. I'm not really sure what that's doing. Maybe helping it to move? Not sure, really. Several screws have to be taken off and then this piece can come off. And you can see all the gears inside. None of these seem to be broken. Go ahead and continue to take this thing apart. Now take off these black caps here. Neither one of these seem to have any kind of spring inside of them. And once you take all the other screws, you can pry this thing apart. Kind of hinges open to get it completely taken apart. And this is where it gets really, really tricky. You have to really pay attention here. There's a lot of gears in here, and they all just kind of fall apart when you open it up. There's these metal gears here that's helping the thing move its arm. There is a tin tooth gear that is cracked. I don't have one that looks like that, but I have a tin tooth gear. Not sure why they use these types of gears in some places and then those other gears that don't seem to break. But you can see how it moves back and forth riding on these gears. And there's another one here that's broken. Just another tin tooth. On the shaft of this one it has just a little thing that's just keeping it from moving. And it's cracked as well. I don't have anything like this, but you could probably just use a gear if you wanted to. But I'm just melting this one back together. Continuing on. Some of these gears are starting to crack. And I don't really have anything like this, so I'm just going to melt these back together. And then to get into the claw, you can take the screws apart, but it seems to be glued together. And I couldn't get it apart, but there's really not much into it anyway. You can see how it works. One just opens and closes the claw as it turns. And the other one just actually turns the whole thing. Go ahead and put the screws back. You can't really get into this one. Go 
go ahead and start putting it all back together. And like I said, this is the really tricky part right here. This is very, very tricky. There's one gear here that's just an idle gear and you have to place it on this shaft. And line all the gears up and then you can get this piece back on. Go ahead and put these black caps back on. Line all these gears up. It's always best to take lots of pictures. And put the screws back into this thing. Put the caps back on. Make sure you get the one with the spring correct. And before I put this other section on, if I put it here in this, you can see how each one of these things makes these gears turn each direction by moving the joysticks. Go ahead and put this section back together, putting these screws back in. Putting this top piece back on. And then this piece is cracking. So I'm just going to melt it back. This is where a screw goes on the bottom. Then there's a lot of corrosion in the battery terminals. So I'm just going to use some CLR and just clean it all up. 
Now that the terminals are broken, so they'll be fine. Just need to get rid of the rust and corrosion. And to put it back together, it's best to just pull out the joysticks. They'll come out. Go ahead and put them in place. Put all those circular gears where they need to go. And then the whole thing will just flop down on top. And then you can screw the screws back. And here's the one that's actually connecting to the mechanics. And here's all the gears that I replaced. So that's it. That's what's inside and what makes an Armatron work. So, you ready to see it in action? So there's the Armatron, and I'm about to do a video on the mobile Armatron. So if you like this kind of stuff, better hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. And if, I want to thank these people here. These are patrons. These are people helping me out. And I want to thank them very much. And couldn't do any of this stuff without them. And if you'd like to become a patron, then there's you know, links and perks and all that stuff. You know all this stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching. That was... Ready? Robot Garage!